Tulsa Sam's Club is among several fueling stations affected by a massive gasoline recall. The fuel blend has three times the level of ethanol allowed by the state. Two Works For You reporter Darcy Jackson is live at the Sam's Club on 71st and Mingo with how to handle a bad batch of gas. Darcy. Well, Brian, it's back to business here at Sam's Club. All of that bad gas was pumped out and shipped back to OKC today. But if you did fill up here in the past week or so, the news may not be all bad. Well, what do you do? I mean, uh, that's a heck of an investment, a car. This is just one of the cars that James Verhoff has filled up in the past few days. I'm worried, you know, because it said it could affect your carburetor or your, or your engine, and, and we just put 15 gallons in each car. The gas in his tanks have as much as 30% ethanol, and he's not alone. I've noticed a little sputter every once in a while, but I can't really distinguish if it's really bad or not. And I just sure don't want, I got a newer car that I just bought, and that's one I'm concerned about. Supplier Magellan Midstream Partners told the OCC the Sam's Club is the only Tulsa location affected. Crews began pumping it out immediately. It's not designed to run on that. Kelly Clifton sees a lot of cars come through with a bad batch of gas, but he says most of the time the problem is minor and it solves itself. It's not going to perform well. It's going to get terrible gas mileage. And I try to drive it out, get it down to a quarter tank, and then go find some real gas. It's relief for Verhoff, but he says waiting to find out his car's fates won't be easy. I will be concerned until I fill up, until I run that batch of gas out on both of them. Now, if you do want to file a complaint, we have all of the information you need on our website. And coming up at 6, we'll break down when it is actually time to take your car to the shop. At 71st and Mingo, Darcy Jackson, two works for you.